police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. The cases of both past and present become a volatile mix at the ADTC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. You're familiar with Hattori-san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami-san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia-chan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Cure clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee you that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes, he drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting-edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD-9. Minister Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hashiki now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. What makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hashki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 than met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? That's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. 
The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. The ADDC is hiding something. I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. Hattori-san. Mafuyu almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. Hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. Yeah, name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. Murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Genda's tomorrow? Sounds good. Night, boys. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafuyu without you, either. Thanks again. No prob. Let me know if anything else comes up.
There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san, you're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafiu last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Yagami-san! Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki. Former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took the hat long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hashki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashiki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashiki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hashki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hashki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean... That's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? I admit it would make sense, but we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but... Uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <laughs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. Let's roll, talk. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold on. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over.
Come on, Doc. Let's get out of here. <sighs> right. Let's roll, Doc. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. いらっしゃいませ。Talking to me? Sit. Seat next to me. Hurry. Hmm? Do I know you or This is no time for jokes. I'm not? Can you please? Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? Well, can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here? Uh, sorry? Alright, listen, you're very pretty, and you clearly know what you're about, but 
I'm more of a take it slow kind of guy, you know? I don't like to rush into these things. Chakami-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, uh, who? What the heck? Mafuyu? I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Wait, but... Really? Why did Ayabe send you? He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. Here's the investigation report on Hashki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? This is really intense. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. One more thing regarding Prosecutor Izumita. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you under suspicion of murdering Shintani-sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Will do. Thanks. Bye then. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Huh? What do we got here? This is the investigation report. From Hashki's murder. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Mafuyu-chan? Are you saying that woman was her? Yeah, I just made the same mistake. You should check this stuff out, Talk. This is Hashiki's resume. Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. This here is a map of the crime scene. Hashki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking in a cabaret. This one, place called the Queen Rouge. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hashki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues was with him. Wait, it was that guy, Shono. So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hashki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was a cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip, see for ourselves where they found Hashki. The Queen Rouge is right near there too.
Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hashiki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? How's this? Wow. You look so... lifeless. You could get a job doing this. Oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashiki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashiki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat, after which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street, meaning Hashiki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashiki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. Big Mr. Detective. Anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Yeah, you're right. Queen Rouge. <laughs> so even stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Hashiki wasn't exactly honest. Or a scientist. I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Where'd you go? Hello? Is anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hushki, son. Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hashiki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant, man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashiki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. Huh. In that case... How about her? <laughs> Sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafia you did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? Well, that photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. 
trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Tuck. Uh, I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending salary sign in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass. How's it going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah, guys still do it and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. <laughs> hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Nope. Barely made a dent. Guess the whole country's dying for matcha. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Looks like that's out of the question. Let's uh, try something else. Uh, that sort of worked, but not well enough. Your girl especially into red beans? Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we try something else then? <laughs> Incredible! You narrowed it down to one result! Really? Nice! The Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah, let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takemitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. <laughs>
Man, only one per person? Huh. Guess I can't complain. At least I got one. Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Everyone raves about this place online. We're so lucky they opened a branch here in Kamurocho. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! Uh, you don't mean, uh, uh protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. Hey, uh, uh, um, well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. <laughs> you think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? <laughs> we'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, uh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? Oh, that was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, oh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, I, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. Genda-sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. 
Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to sorry son real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off, but you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I going to do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Saurisan. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. So what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, sorry, son We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at saori san huh? No, it's not that. She's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. saori san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, saori san If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? Huh? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah, but I'm kinda afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Yagami-san. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Good afternoon. Hey, we're specifically, but of course. Now
How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry, son. You've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafuyu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafi was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafiu looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafiu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafiu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafiu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafiu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafia's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Not sure I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm glad I told you then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously though, meeting you helped Mafia realize the difference between love and admiration. <laughs> she thought your bad boy act was cute, by the way. Bad boy. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh. Not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshinokun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today?
You look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Oh, she's a knockout. Uh, I'll knock you out. Oh, no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. Hey, girl. Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um... Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah! Uh uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm sure, Saki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's almost time for opening. We'll be starting on the floor, Saori-san. Good luck. Hi, I'm Sumi Rei. Hiya, I'm Mika. Please call me Saori, sir. 
Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful, elegant woman. Come, take a seat. If it's all right with you, sir. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. Hmm. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> a feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumiri san Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Huh? I... Uh, um... Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. I'm so sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time, a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Hoshki-san from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hoshki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there. Sorry. That got kind of dark, huh? Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now.
Um, would you like another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. <gasps> Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aw, really? Hey, don't be like that. You're here to have fun, aren't you? Oh. She's right. Though I can think of something even more fun than this. Uh, uh, um. All right. Give me your finest booze. Yay! You're the best. Fresh bottle coming right up. I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Hello? Oshinokun? Sarusan made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sarusan to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we will do. Hello? Hmm? Huh? Mm. 
Hey. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
Hey, duck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <sighs> duck. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it. Excuse me. None. I'm on it. Hmm. Yagami san. Yagami san. guys.
Hey. Must we?
What? <sighs> nah. <laughs> what? You got ah. this, right? Know-it-all asshole! You again? I thought you'd have given up by now. After what you did to me in the Kahin? Not once, but twice? I'm never backing down! Sorry, but you reap what you sow. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Quit showing off with your fancy words and shit! Seriously? Suck a Kiba! Azai! Hungry! This man is Kaito Sakakiba, one of the Kahin Four! Him? You let him in? Hey, Kasai! You're buying me food if I take this guy down, yeah? So you better believe it! Steak, ramen, pizza, whatever you want, big guy! I hope you're not lying! <laughs> that mean... I get dessert too? Sure, sure, cake, pudding, anything. Does, uh, does curry count as dessert? Literally anything you want, as much of it as you want. Just beat his ass. Come on, you can't just let him talk you in. Oh, 
Jeez, this guy's built like a ton of bricks. <laughs> you see that? There's no getting through his flabby exterior. Now go, Sakakiba. Smash this bitch. <laughs> what are you spacing out for? Get him! I'm hungry. What? It's dinner time. Looks like your buddy abandoned you. Uh, 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 uh. Shit! Better luck next time, asshole! Wait, that would be my line. Come on, man. I've been waiting for you. Why don't we step inside for a little chat? Another voluntary interrogation? Thought I told you to bring a warrant next time. The hell was that? <sighs> Let's be civilized here, Yagami-san. Fine. Office is pretty dirty, though. So, to what do I owe the honor? There's a leak in the prosecutor's office. Pretty sure it's a woman. Got her hands on some pretty important case files. The ones about the vice director of the ADDC getting beaten to death in the street. You have any ideas? Sorry, not a clue. What kind of lowlife would sell police secrets? Shh. Scum. Right, Ayabe? Totally. The worst. <laughs> Nobody takes us seriously around here. That all you came to ask? I'm sure you guys are just as busy as I am. So, if you're finished, I'm gonna have to ask you to... Right. Izumita wants to talk to you tomorrow. About Shintani's murder. You'll be there. In cuffs if need be. Why am I being treated like a suspect? <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to deal with getting arrested. Trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Besides, you and Izumina go way back. But how am I going to defend myself if I don't know why he suspects me? Let me guess. I'll find out when I get there. More or less. Who knows what angle Izumita will take. Have it your way.
I'll come in and clear the air and we'll be done with this. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Asshole's been dragging me everywhere. I can't do a damn thing on my own. I can tell. Looks rough. Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with a girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Sorry, son. Took you long enough. This is Mika-san. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hoshki and Shono. Mika-san was at their table, without a doubt. It's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. See, my grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's. So, I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah. When I heard Kita-san was just another slime ball. I don't know. Kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kachihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Mm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. 
Hashiki-san kept going on about Kita-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. You don't think he was listening to Hashiki-san, then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. But then, out of the blue, Hashiki-san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Uh, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how AD9 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if AD9 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashiki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. Thanks for this, Mika-chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Be safe on your way back. Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Saori-san? Sorry, I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one-night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're so pretty, Saori-san, and I was pumped to learn more from you. I don't think I have much left to teach. I might be able to help you, though, as a friend. You're a lawyer? Let me know if you ever get into trouble. Wow, I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is, like, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now! That was amazing, Saori-san. You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on, I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshino-kun and the others. Sure. guys. Welcome back. You're so beautiful, Sari-san. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saori-kun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. There's a good chance Hashiki's murder was premeditated. Just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. 
That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89. Doubted the authenticity of the research. Seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak, but nobody seems to suspect any foul play, not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues, and if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hoshki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth and Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk, the prosecutor's office can. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us, then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Keto all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yagami-san? Yo, everything's really falling into place. Guess it's good we let Sauri san handle the cabaret, huh? Don't know if I should be saying this, but it's been a while since I've felt this alive. This case is just about reaching its tipping point. I'd be out there too if my knees weren't so damn creaky. Ugh! <laughs> 
And stay down. Yo. Got a message for you from Kuroiwa. Says to drop by the Tokyo Public Prosecutor's Office. Izumita's waiting for you. Why'd you have to come here to tell me that? Would have been easier to talk on the phone. I got a bad feeling about all this. Huh? Feels like I'm never gonna see you again if you get yourself locked up now. Come on, don't be like that. Even if I do get arrested, I won't say a word about your little side job. That's what you're worried about, right? Yep. I might have to send someone to bump you off in prison if you rat me out. <laughs> like you could pull that off. Aren't you busy dusting off Kuroiwa's boots? I'm laying low, that's all. Speaking of, I have a question for you now that you're off your leash. Why do they think I killed Chintani? They have to have a reason, right? You've got to know. Well, funny enough, I don't. Kuroiwa won't share a shred of info with anyone but his closest partners. Not sure why. Gotcha. Now, get over to the prosecutor's office. Sorry, but you gotta cover your own cab fare. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know.
I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Rolling out the red carpet, huh? Izumita was hoping you'd lower your guard if I was the first person you saw here. <laughs> the man never changes. He loves his mind games. Yagami-kun, how did they convince you to come? I heard your pal Izumita wants to chat. And, depending on what I say, he may or may not try to arrest me. Hmm... I'm not sure it'll be quite like that. Huh? Then what's it gonna be? Well, you're about to get thrown to the wolves. Hey, Mafuyu. Good luck. Excuse me. I've brought Yagami-san. Much appreciated. Huh. Even the chief prosecutor's in on this. Please, come in. So these are the wolves. A room full of prosecutors, huh? Yagami-sensei. I believe Kuroiwa-san already told you this. But we want to talk to you about Shintani-sensei's murder. However, this is not a courtroom. And we're not strangers. Or wolves. Just try to relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relax, right. I'm not telling you what you want to hear, though. You want me to say I killed Shintani, right? Sorry, not happening. <laughs> the burden of proof's on you, anyway. So why don't we start there? Why do you think I did it? Yagami-sensei. Where were you on the night of Shintani-sensei's murder? Answer my question with another question? <laughs> That's not very nice. Do you have an alibi for that evening? You heard of a company called KJ Art? The place is a front for some Kansai Yakuza, the Kyore clan. On the night of the crime, I was near there with their captain, Shioya. He'll back my story up, I'm sure. And care to explain why Shintani-sensei's corpse was found in your office? I was hoping you could tell me. Maybe the real killer could answer that for you. Naturally. That's why I called you here. Mind if I interject? Go right ahead, Morita-san. Yagami-san, you stole a look at Shintani-sensei's call history before the police arrived, yes? Not long before his death, he placed a call to the Advanced Drug Development Center. Knowing that, you barged into the center and interrogated both Kido-san and Shono-san. Why would you do such a thing? I wanted to figure out what made Shintani a target, who wanted him dead. Is that not the police's job? I couldn't leave it to them, or the prosecution. After all, you guys have a bad habit of going after the wrong guy. Kinda like right now. I see. So you mean to imply someone else killed Shintani-sensei? Do you have anything that could prove that claim? The burden of proof rests on the prosecution. It's not my place to take on such a heavy responsibility. There's no need to be like that, Yagami-san. As we said before, this isn't a courtroom. It'd be an honor to hear your thoughts on the matter. Oh yeah? How about someone says please? Please. Great. I'll tell you what I know. Before we get to Shintani's murder, there are a few things I need to cover. One year ago, the ADDC published a research paper on a new drug they were developing called AD9. This drug has gained global recognition as the thing that may finally cure Alzheimer's disease. What hasn't gained recognition is the fact that someone from the ADDC was murdered six months ago. An ADDC member murdered? 
Who? The Vice Director, Toru Hashiki. Hashiki was seen arguing with a strange man in Kamurocho before being found lying beaten in the street. He died in the hospital three weeks later. The culprit is still at large. Did you know of this case? It's the first I've heard of it. Understandable. It didn't make many headlines. Incidentally, this Hashiki guy had a pretty big secret. Uh-huh. Turns out he was working for the Kajihira Group, a massive construction company based out of Kansai. Kajihiro was planning to redevelop the land the ADDC sits on. He'd already settled it with the Minister of Health, had the Kyore clan muscle in on the turf too. But the plan fell apart when AD9 was announced. Kajihira ended up taking a pretty big hit. To the tune of a hundred billion yen. What? That's when Hashiki came in, swearing to Kajihira that he'd scuttle AD9, no matter what it took. <sighs> Just before he was beaten half to death, Hashiki went out with another member of the ADDC. Someone deeply involved in the development of AD9. Someone he thought he could manipulate. Take a look. Director Kido was meeting Hashki in Kamurocho? Hmm? Wait, I, I'm not sure I have that right. Ugh, get your facts straight. I'm sure you recognize this man, Izumira-san. Three years ago, he testified about the murder that had taken place at the ADDC. He claimed he had seen the victim patient by the name of Waku, still alive. I remember him. You're referring to Dr. Shono? Mm-hmm. He's also the head of the 89 research team. Hashiki was grilling Shono, convinced that there was something fishy going on with 89. Like what? He thought they had fabricated data and falsified the effects of the drug. After all, it wasn't until rumors of closing the ADDC started swirling that Director Kido suddenly announced 89. Hashiki was convinced it was all too convenient to be coincidence. But that doubt didn't sit well with those who stood to rake in massive profits off 89's development. Are you implying Hashiki's murder was premeditated? <laughs> Sounds like we're finally on the same page, Izumira-san. I had the exact same thought. Taking all this into account, doesn't it seem like there really is something fishy about 89? Hmm. But let's get back to Shintani. Just before he was murdered, he called the ADDC and tried to get in touch with a very specific someone. Maybe that phone call provoked whoever is trying to hide the truth about 89. Shintani was an obstacle, just like Hashiki. He had to be removed. What I'm saying is, there's a chance anyone who gets too close to learning the true nature of 89 is being murdered. And if you haven't investigated down that path, then one thing's pretty clear. You have a lot more work to do before you can arrest me. Wouldn't you say? Answer me, Izumita! <sighs> if you still want to bring me in, let's see some proof. All these prosecutors, and nobody's got any proof. That's quite a theory, Yagami-san. Truly fascinating. There were details in there even we weren't aware of. You've clearly done your homework. I'd be glad to hand over my findings if it'll help. After all, 89's practically a household name at this point. Lifting the lid on it might be too much for me to handle all on my own. And besides, I think I'd rather work with you than Izumita here. You need to lose the attitude, Yagami. Sorry, I need to take this. Yes, hello? 
Is that so? Yes, you've done excellent work. Thank you. Just so you're aware, the prosecution has made a coordinated effort with law enforcement. We've already submitted a request for the court to issue a warrant. I'm sorry for the call, but that was the verification of our request, you see. You're still gonna arrest me after all this, huh? Fortunately, you're not the one under arrest. What? I wouldn't celebrate. We're not done with you just yet. It's in the interest of closing the case. Listen here, Yagami. You know who Shintani's killer was? It's your old friend, Ayabe. What? Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. Like it or not, he's going down.